The difference and similarities. Ischemia and infarction. Ischemia means the absence of blood flow to the organ or body tissues, while infarction means the death of tissues due to reduced blood supply. Reduced blood supply leads to the shortage of oxygen supply to the affected organ or body tissue. A CT scan is always performed to evaluate the stroke or ischemic stroke due to insufficient blood flow, the hemorrhage, rupture of the blood vessel or any other problem. Sometimes, CT scans cannot diagnose a stroke because of poor imaging as compared to MRI, stroke region being too small to be detected. The brain does not become abnormal for a few hours after the onset of stroke. Thus, MRI is advised for clear imaging of the damaged region. Myocardial ischemia Treatment for myocardial ischemia is mainly to increase the blood flow to the heart, which can be achieved through the following medications. Aspirin, by oral route of administration. Nitroglycerin, the route of administration can be under the tongue or intravenously. Nitrates, the route of administration can be under the tongue or intravenous infusions. Ischemia and infarction. Myocardial ischemia means the insufficient blood flow to heart muscles. Myocardial infraction means when there is a stoppage of blood flow in the heart due to blockage or rupture of blood vessels, which further lead to heart attack. Similarity. Both have the same cause of the decrease in blood supply, which further reduces oxygen supply. Both have common symptoms like chest pain, which radiates to arms or jaws. Differences. In myocardial ischemia, there is reversible damage to the heart muscles. It means heart muscles can be repaired. Whereas myocardial infraction is a blockage or rupture of the blood vessel. It is irreversible damage. With advanced technology, the blockage can be treated. Anterolateral ischemia. In anterolateral ischemia, the ST segment of ECG has been elevated. This gives the possibility that the patient is at high risk blocks. That is ischemia can be prevented by the change in the lifestyle. Quit smoking. Exercise. Decrease stress. Manage health condition like diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, etc. Maintain healthy weight. That is no overweight. Eat a healthy diet.